Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm going to take you through a little bit with the finite tolerancy annotations, uh, the apps within the 3D experience, um, what we're able to do and how we're able to visualize them, just a brief overview. So the idea with um, being able to put tolerancy and annotations within the model and have a master model uh, with all of those annotations in it, as opposed to having to make a print with all that information where it's a separate um, object you have to keep track of and file and so on and so forth. So here we have uh, four different components that are placed within this assembly called pipe systems. Um, if you expand the parts, uh, we'll be able to expand the 3D uh, representation. And down here we have what's called an annotation set. Now this is what houses all of our 3D annotations. Um, if you expand it, you can see what's supposed to be there, but none of it's visualizing on the screen. If I right click on this and say show in 3D, it'll be able to turn on the annotations if we're trying to read someone else's or annotations we created, but um, something we didn't build in this session. And we wanna be able to view them uh, and work with them. Now, I'm currently in the assembly design workbench, which allows me to view this stuff, but doesn't really allow me to do too much with it, uh, the assembly design app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the compass here, and we're gonna go to uh, focus on two specific apps. The 3D tolerancy annotation. This is the app that allows us to create those annotations that you're seeing and the 3D Annotation Insight, which allows us to view what's there. Now, if I go to 3D Annotation Insight, basically what we saw before is still in front of us, but it does tell us we're in 3D Annotation Insight. Uh, instead of having to manually come in here and right-click on the annotation set and say hide or show in 3D, I can quickly come in and select on the component, and now this context menu appears, which allows me to say enable display, and it turns on the same annotations. And I can turn them off. Select on a different component, select on both of them, and I can turn on all of them if I want. Um, and if I double click on it, we can activate that view and be able to see it. We have ways of being able to turn it into that orientation where it right click and say display view turns it into that display and we can filter what's there if necessary. Now I'm going to send this model back. I want to hide those annotations. So what I'll do is just select on, I'll turn it where I want it. I'll be able to select on the top of the tree to activate it. And now as I select, I can disable those annotations. Again, it's the exact same thing as expanding until we find the annotation set, right-clicking and saying hide sh or show in 3D or hide in 3D, but uh, a lot faster when doing it through the 3D Annotation Insight app. Now, we're not going to go into much detail, but if I wanted to create those 3D annotations, I would need to activate this 3D representation of the part, double-click on it to activate it so it turns blue here, and now I can go to my compass, and if I have the correct role, I will be able to find the annotation. Uh, if I can find where it's at. Here we go. 3D Tolerancing and Annotation app. And this gives me the tools to be able to create new views, uh, whether it's reference views or uh, exonometric um, align section views, align section cut views, uh, and put in the annotations that we want um, or display what other people have or what has been done previously to work on. Okay, hope that helps.